Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own Yo World Farm signature. Now, just as a quick example to show you guys what I'm on about in case some of you don't know, um, this is basically for forums, which is forums.yoworld.com, um, so I'll leave the link to it down below. But you can have your own personalized signature, and a lot of people have their own different types. Um, and this one is mine. A lot of people use like banner photos, um, and they can be of anything. They can just be a Yo World name, they can just be a picture of your avatar, or they can get some creative ones in there as well. You could put like different outfits, like five days a week outfits on there. Some people have some amazing signatures and of course some people have them so you can click them I have mine so you can click it and this will take you to my YouTube channel and then I have visit me here which is my apartment link some people have it where you can click the banner and it takes you directly to their Yo world apartment so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do one and you don't need to download any software at all so I use the biggest size that you can have for my banner which is 500 width wise and 100 vertical or height wise should I say so just quickly you've got 500 pixels going across and 100 going down the side and that is the biggest size you can have you can have smaller than that but that is the biggest you can have and I personally like to go for the biggest size you can have so what you're going to go ahead and do is open up paint you're going to you know Make your picture, um, the white bit of the picture, really big. Um, so drag it out to sort of this size. You're going to go ahead and click the resize. You're going to click pixels. And you're going to go ahead and say 500. And you're going to untick the maintain aspect ratio. And you're going to go ahead and click 100. And it takes you to that size. Now all you're going to want to do is save this. Make sure it's white or, you know, it doesn't really matter about the colour. And um, I'm going to go ahead and save this in my... Um, folder that I'm going to be doing it and um, oh I already made one it's called farm city so I'll just make it again and um, just so you guys can see and I'll click yes and that is it so I'm going to go ahead and close that and now we're going to go and use a website now I'm not using any downloadable software you can use photoshop you can use gimp you can use paint but I actually use an online tool and I use this online tool for my thumbnails and my youtube videos as well and it's called befunky.com and it may look a little complicated but I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what you need to do so all you need to do when you get to this site is click photo editor and that takes you to this page here you're going to go ahead and click upload to computer and you're going to upload that photo that we've done and this is it this is our template that we are now going to use to create our banner now you are going to use the layers and you're going to continue to add layers to this so i'm going to go ahead and get a background banner so we're going to go for a pink banner cover and i'm simply just going to google it and go over to the images and see if i can find something a little bit snazzy that i can use and i mean you know it doesn't it can be whatever you want um, I quite like the look of this one, so I'll just go ahead and view this image. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this in my folder as well. And it's saved in a different folder, so I'll just go back and save it in a different folder. Um, I'll save it in my folder there. And we're going to go back to the editor. Now you're going to go ahead and click Add Layer, and you're going to add that photo. Now you'll notice it's small compared to the white space, but I want this to be the background cover image so i'm just going to go ahead and drag it out so it looks huge and now you're thinking well this is too big now all you're going to do is double click in the black space and you'll notice that it covers it like goes black around the sides and it's only for this and you're going to go ahead and position it to however you want it to be obviously you can make it smaller or bigger or whatever and i'm quite happy with that once you're happy go ahead and click flat and layer and you'll notice it cuts the rest of it out it's amazing now i'm going to go ahead and add another layer and i like to have my yo world avatar in it so i downloaded the outfit earlier if you just click the edit symbol on um your change in outfits and just click download it downloads it for you guys there and again you'll notice it's really small now you can go ahead you can make it as big as you want but remember, when you click into the black space, it will crop it down so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make this a little bit different. And I'm going to have 
my feet on one end and I'm just going to drag this back across because I need to use it again and I'm going to just have my avatar head in it there. Now if you right click on the photo you can flip the photo so you can flip it vertically if you wanted it that way. If you wanted it to go back, just flip it vertically, vertically again. And then if you wanted to flip it horizontally, you can flip it horizontal. And I quite like the look of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to flatten the layers so it cuts it all out. And I really like it. Of course, when you drag them across, you guys can change it. Um, so if I just drag this photo out here a little bit, um, and I just show you guys what I mean by that. If I... Mm, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but yeah, if I sort of put it here, um, and you can go and do darken, you can have it in difference, um, hard light, I quite like the hard light, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that, and I'm going to flatten the layer again. Now, you can continue to do this, you continue to, if you wanted to add more photos, you simply click add layer, and then upload whatever photo you have saved in your area. Uh, and then just keep adding to it and remember to click flatten the layer in the corner and then once you're happy with it go ahead you can add text you can add photos you can add frames you can do all sorts so they have graphics on this editor here um, and you'll notice that some of them are quite cool simply if you wanted to just double tap it and it drags it on and then you can position it however you guys like so if you wanted to have these in it for example go ahead and add them here again you can have different sort of lighting so I'm going to do hard light again on it because I quite like it it works quite well with the background and you continue to add them so forth and so forth some of them may cost some of them may be like premium ones and um, so they say plus just don't use them because obviously we haven't got an account we haven't upgraded we're just using it for free tooling and then I'm going to go ahead and add some text and there is a couple of types that you can do. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And I simply just write out my name. Click off it. You'll notice it's very small. You can zoom in if you guys wish to. Um, but I don't really bother. I like to leave it at 100% because it gets a bit blurry when you go a bit big into it. And then you're going to go ahead and want to click on the font. So now I shouldn't have positioned it there. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. Um, just so I can drag the font across and it isn't working for some reason so we're just going to go ahead double click on it again and we're going to change the font size to 50 so we can read it and I'm going to go ahead and type in my name like that now I'm going to go ahead and reposition it sort of where I like it to be I might make it a little bit bigger so I might say 65% in font size and you can go ahead and change the colour in if you wish to um, and I might try and go for like a purpley colour I think um, and again you can have it different so you can have hard lights I quite like the hard light and you can have like background to it if you wanted a background I don't want a background if you didn't like the black out layer you can change that and it's simply just about trial and error again once you're happy with it you simply just click flatten layer and that is it I'm gonna leave it like this just to make this video quite short once you've done that click the save button and click to computer now select PNG because that's the best quality photo you can get and go ahead and click save and you're going to want to save this in your area somewhere you're going to remember it. I'm just going to overwrite the forum Siggy and save it there. Now we're going to go ahead and open up a tool that you can upload an image to and embed it into forum. So I use IMGUR, um, Imgur, I don't know how you say it, but yeah, I'll leave the link to it down below. Um, but it's simply IMGUR.com. Simply click new post, browser and upload the photo as you guys just watched me do and it will upload it. When you hover over the photo, you'll get this. So I'll click the little arrow button and click get shared links. And you get this here. Now we want BB code forms. Simply click copy. Okay, and then go back to forums and go to user control panel. And then you want to go to profile and then you want to select the edit signature tab. Now you guys will notice that I have quite a lot in here anyway. But if I just go ahead and 
I paste it there and I take this out just for you guys to see um, and we preview you get the photo now if you wanted to put this as a link you simply need to go to the, the beginning so I'm just going to open it up a new line and you're going to want to click URL now you're going to want to go ahead and drag this here and then I forgot what it was I think it was equal sign yeah so in here you're going to want to go and click equals and then you want to put a link so if you have an apartment link simply put your apartment link here if you wanted it to go to I don't know um twitter.com you simply do https forward slash www.twitter.com and that is it and then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the same line and then if I preview this again you'll notice when I hover over it's clickable if I right click and open this in a new tab it should take us to Twitter um, and that is pretty much it for this video and then of course once you're happy I keep clicking preview simply click submit once you're happy and it will save all the changes that is it I hope this video helps you guys understand how to make some cool funky signatures I really love playing around with it I like to change my signature up pretty much every sort of every other week um, and the tool be funky is amazing it's free to use just simply you don't even have to create an account and I absolutely love it I use it for my thumbnails as well so I hope this video sort of helped you guys out a bit. Give it a big thumbs up if you did find it useful. Drop a comment down below with like a thread to one of your posts and forums so I can check out your signatures. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye guys.